Hi guys. It is almost a chilly night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the uh, Oasis of Freedom here on Friday night, January 14th, 2022 in the heart of winter and as the snow flies and the temperature falls over half of this country, uh, I am sitting here doing what I need to do a lot more of, and that is to listen to Terrence McKenna videos. I, I warned last night when I did that kind of risky, chancy video on that Paul Kingsnorth essay last night um, that I have been thinking somewhat about somewhat pushing the boundaries here a little bit at uh, Collapse Chronicles and introducing uh, some more edgy voices and uh, for those of you, anybody down in the Doomosphere, I am assuming you have at least heard of Terrence McKenna if you have not listened to them. But whether or not you are, if you have never listened to Terrence McKenna, you need to fix that. <clears throat> and my guess is if you're anything like me, and have listened to thousands of hours of Terrence, it wouldn't hurt to like get a shot of Terrence uh, every week. And it was, I would have to say, more than any other person who uh, brought me down in here into the Doomosphere, it is this man, the late, great Terrence McKenna, who we lost in the year 2000, um, pretty just 2000 or 2001. But fortunately, there are thousands and thousands of hours of Terrence McKenna talks all over YouTube. And uh, I, I always recommend the... Uh, the full version of his talk called Culture Is Not Your Friend as a great uh, way to start down the Terrence McKenna rabbit hole. But we're actually not going to listen to that. I want to thank, uh, I believe it was TCR Galaxy who reminded me of this uh, when I made a, a comment a few days ago about Terrence McKenna talking about why he did not believe in conspiracy theories, and he addresses that. So what I'm going to do is play about two minutes of this clip from one of these millions of uh, Terrence videos. This is from a YouTube channel called Infinite Flow, and this is coming from Terrence's talk, I believe in 1999, titled History and Institutions. So take it away, Terrence McKenna. Uh, there is nobody minding the store as far as I can tell. This is why I'm so unsympathetic to conspiracy theory. We could use a few conspiracies. Nobody is minding the store. Everybody is getting rich, personally rich. And so they don't have time for, you know, to advance the Aryan race or the Council of Zion or any of this fantasy an illusion that haunts the world of conspiracy theory. Uh, rather, it seems, uh, everything is being left pretty much to develop on its own because people are afraid to grab or touch the levers and buttons in the control room of the historical vehicle. Uh, 
And what that means then is that people who can cut through these many, many illusions, the illusion of materialism, the illusion of business as usual, the illusion of benevolent institutions carefully guiding us toward reasonable destinies. If you cut through all that, if you disabuse yourself of all that, uh, you, you will empower yourself to eventually be able to stand up in delicate social and political situations and just say, bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. Amen, brother. And this is worth considering doing uh, simply because we have an imperiled planet on our hands. We have been for a long, long time the victims of illusion. Western civilization, Stefan Daedalus was right. History is a nightmare from which one must awaken, quite literally. I mean, we have been blind to what we have been doing. We are blind at this moment to what we are doing. If in a single moment the actual nature of our predicament were to fully make itself felt in the mind of any one of us, I think it would be paralyzing. It would be horrifying. We, we have waited till the last moment of the last hour the house is burning down around us, and we rouse ourselves from the stupor of materialism, the stupor of Christianity and scientism, the stupor of male dominance, sexism, and racism. If we don't rouse ourselves from this stupor, the momentum toward extinction is now practically irreversible. You know, the Grateful Dead like to sing that song, we need a miracle every day. We certainly, uh, we certainly do. Yep. And of course, those words were uttered 22 years ago, and then he goes on, you know, in a, in, in a, in, in a bit of hopium, because, you know, back in the, it was mainly the 1980s and 1990s. As I say, we lost Terrence in 2000 at the age of 54. My God, uh, to hear what Terrence McKenna would be saying about the state of the planet now. And, you know, 22 years ago, as he was commenting here, uh, you know, basically 22 years ago, we were in the 11th hour and 59th minute, and the only chance we had 22 years ago was to rouse ourselves from all of these various stupors that he mentioned. And then, of course, the historical record shows uh, I think the jury is in that the stupor of, of everything he mentioned is a hell of a lot more uh, powerful and more people on this planet have surrendered to the stupor uh, or the stupidity, another way of saying the stupor, uh, than were in it 22 years ago. And I think Terence would agree with me at this point that we are utterly doomed and there is no way out. There was, if there was a way out in the year 1999, uh, well, <clears throat> that way out has certainly been... Uh, been effectively blocked, but this is no reason not to uh, listen to uh, Terrence McKenna. I, I think a, a lot like Carlos Castaneda that people who have never listened to Terrence McKenna or never read Carlos Castaneda just automatically lump uh, Terence McKenna, and you know, as some proponent 
of, I guess, recreational drug use, particularly uh, psychedelics and hallucinogens. And uh, although this is not the place for me to talk about this, it was Terrence McKenna who convinced me back in 2008, you know, to experiment if that's the word, with uh, these various hallucinogens, mainly psilocybin, mushrooms, ayahuasca, and uh, San Pedro cactus, otherwise known as mescaline, which is peyote. And uh, it was because of those experiences in listening to hours and hours, hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours, listening to this man that is, you know, this is the man to blame uh, for me sitting here talking to myself here on YouTube. You know, I, I it, it was, you know, when I was in the middle of a very successful real estate career, living in a beautiful home, in Austin, Texas, uh, that whole story. I'm not going to rehash, but it is Terrence McKenna who has, uh, <laughs> I can credit or blame this man for dragging me down into the doomosphere. This man, he understood uh, more than 20 years ago, he could articulate you know, what is the, the collapse of civilization and a planet better than any human being I have ever met before or since. He is the master. Uh, and, and, and all I have been doing with my life uh, is calling bullshit uh, on, on all of this uh, business as usual, taking down the planet, calling bullshit on these planet eaters. But of course, it, is, it has done nothing to stop the march towards extinction, which is exactly where uh, we, we are headed as a civilization and as a species. And as I say, I think Terence would agree with me on that uh, prognosis, although I guess we'll never get to know because Terrence uh, checked out uh, right when things were getting interesting in the new millennium, and all I can say, brother, is rest in peace, Terrence McKenna. We love you, man, and uh, just get out there and start uh, plumbing the Terrence McKenna landscape or minefield. Again, I would look up culture is not your friend. Start there and uh, happy psycho nodding with Terrence. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up and go listen to some more Terrence McKenna here in the Point Lonesome Swamp as it all comes down. Bye, guys.